Were you a sneakerhead before this? Are you a sneakerhead now? I'm a, no, I'm a novice. I'm a novice okay. sneakerhead, to say the least, man. There's levels to this. These guys out there with uh, million dollar collections, and they know when every shoe drop and when the designer and where the designer and how the designer came up with the shoe. I'm far from that guy, but I can appreciate a good shoe. Like, I, I definitely um, have grown over the years and loving different sneakers and just getting more pricey. I remember when buying a hundred dollar pair of sneakers was, was outrageous. Now I've, I've spent way more than that on $8,000 on a pair of sneakers. Like just, just it's, it's like you, <laughs> your appreciation grows and so does the damn dollar amount. <laughs> it's a, Mike put me onto something. He said you, you released your own shoe. You got a, you got a shoe coming out or is it already out? It's a collab you did. Yeah, we dropped it. We dropped it on the day of the premiere, and it's, it's designed by Katie Customs. I can't say it enough. Uh, she is an iconic shoe designer, the things that she's able to do. So when we created the shoe called the Wild M's, man, it's the AJ1 Custom. It's only going to be 100 made, and they're, they're made at order. So it's a piece of art, and that's what I feel shoe culture is. Like, mm -hmm. it's the shoe art culture, and if you if you say it in that in that way, people will further understand what it really is because these these shoes are pieces of art are a uh, uh, mark in history you know where the scarcity of it brings value and right. that's the same thing as paintings <laughs> like it's the paintings they're different eras there's different times there's different artists and the things that they went through and it's more than just the art it's the lifestyle that came with it and i think shoes are fitting right in that line and i wanted to design a shoe to you know, celebrate the culture and also, you know, join the culture in another way as a shoe designer. I love it. I feel the same way about like fashion in general, whether it's like glasses. I, I just, I'm one of these people where I like to wear things that no one has. And sometimes that yeah. costs a lot of money and sometimes it's just art and unique and, you know, you get lucky at a vintage shop or something like that. Let me ask yeah. you a question. If I order the shoes, how long does it take? How long does it take to, to arrive? Five to seven days. Five to seven oh. days. We get things out. Yeah. Five oh, to seven awesome. days. Katie is Katie is is on a man, and I can't wait for people to you know start posting and start showing. We've been selling a lot of them actually. It's been great. How much <laughs> do they go great. for? What do they sell for? They go for twelve. Twelve. Twelve hundred. Okay. Yeah, twelve fifty. I think. Okay. I think twelve fifty. If my my memory is correct, and yeah, man, it's a it's it's a sneakerhead only shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's a sneakerhead only. Like it's. Again, the sneakerheads will understand the importance of this shoe being it's the shoe associated with the first scripted sneaker show. This is the it, this is the show associated the shoe associated with that and that memory and that time capsule that comes with you know the Wild M's man. So I, I'm excited again just to add my art to the long list of other great art or rather shoe designers out there now. I might have to get a pair. It's I do. Uh, I'm doing a collaboration with WSS Shoes, and they've re they've been releasing new Jays like every like their own. They had the wristband last week, and I'm like talking to the management, and I'm like, "Hey guys, can you like you know leave me a pair? Can I put me on the reserve thing? Because when I'm online, it does. It's like it's I know tech. I know how these websites are built. I could hire an engineer to do this little thing, and I know for sure I'd I'd still miss it. So I don't know. How, I don't know what's happening. So I'm like, hey, and he's like, dude, there's a ban on all of us ordering shoes, like the employees and any management wow. cannot even get them. And so I'm like, you know, when I, when I watched the, the show, I was like, this is a movement. I mean, this is a real thing that's happening because if yes. being an insider, you can't even get it. Yes. It's just yes. like, how attractive is that? So, you know, it's, it's you know, having a, having a dope shoe plug is vital as having a barber now. I you like gotta that. find a good one. You gotta, yeah. you gotta find a good one. You gotta find someone that you trust, and they basically become family. <laughs> yeah. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note. We're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.